The late evening downpour, which was first major rain in Burning Kebi, came along with a strong wind and a heavy downpour, which left many people homeless. Hundreds of households in Badaria, Bayankara, Bayan Owando, and Filinsukwa areas of the state capital were raised to the ground, while others had their roofs blown off. Some of the victims, many of whom slept outside with their families, said they have lost most of their household furniture, while their buildings are now inhabitable, calling on the state government to come to their aid so that they can be able to rebuild their abodes. Now we don't have the outside. my children slept in my house. Everything went up. Everything came down. So we are here. As you can see, the people are the government and in response to the situation, the officials of the Kebi State Emergency Relief Agency rushed to the areas to assess the level of damage as well as to see how best to assist them. Al Hajisani Dododo, the chairman of the State Emergency Relief Agency, while inspecting the damage, says over 1,000 households have been destroyed and the inhabitants rendered homeless. He further said the agency will, as a matter of urgency, provide them with immediate assistance so as to lessen the burden of the disaster. He also said there is need for people to imbibe the habit of planting trees whenever they are building new structures so that the trees will help in protecting their buildings. Most hits among the areas are the police mobile barracks, new extension Badare area, and Bayankara, all in Burning Kebi. Hamza Galadi Mazuru, Liberty News from Burning Kebi.